Guys, this is Nick Brown at JTEC today, and today I'm going to be going over this part of the video. This is a clutch adjustment video, and basically what we're going to be going over on this part of the video is free play, clutch brake squeeze, and pedal travel, okay? And I'm going to teach you guys how to do three of those things. Free play is very easy. Basically, you want to start off with a basic tape measure. All right, um, you want to get a reference. On this, in this case, we're going to use the line, the split line at the steering wheel. Basically, what I'm going to do... I'm going to take my tape measure all the way down to the pedal, get a good reference, pull a little bit of slack out. I'm going to close my tape measure. Okay, have it set. Alright, basically what the free pedal is going to measure right now, we're at around 23 inches. Okay? Alright, now the free pedal, here you go. Okay. Free pedal is basically I want to push the pedal down until I get uh, until I start feeling resistance. Push the pedal down. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna press that. All right. Now that's right at resistance. Okay. I jump from 23 inches to 25 inches. Okay. So my free pedal travel is two inches. Okay. All right. Now I want to do my clutch brake squeeze. All right. Everett. Put the feeler gauge in. All right. Get a good reference point. Okay. Now this one is a little bit trickier than the uh, free pedal travel. Basically, what you want to do is set your reference point, get your tape measure out. And very, very slowly have somebody stick a feeler gauge in between the release bearing and the clutch brake in the um, in the inspection cover in the bell housing. Okay, and very, very slowly let off the clutch pedal until it is set. I actually did that wrong. All right, let's redo that. All right, you good. All right. Yep. Ouch. All right. So press the pedal all the way down, and then very, very slowly lift up on the pedal until the feeler gauge drops. Yep. Ouch. Okay. Now I just jumped from 30. All right. I jumped from about 30 and a half inches to 30 inches. Okay. So my free or so my clutch brake squeeze is half an inch. The spec is between uh, the last inch of the pedal, basically. Okay, so we're within spec. All right, now I want to do clutch pedal travel. Okay, clutch pedal travel is very basic. All right, you let off the clutch pedal. Now you're going to be setting your reference point. Okay, push pe clutch pedal down. All right, set your reference point. All right, and then come up with the clutch pedal without moving the tape measure. Okay, so we have a distance of about nine inches. Okay, so that's clutch pedal travel. All right, so with that, I'm gonna go to the second part of the video. That is free pedal travel, clutch pedal travel, and clutch brake squeeze. Hey guys, this is part two of the clutch video. Okay, all right, so t on this part, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to adjust a clutch. Right now, we are under a 2004 Freightliner Columbia with a Caterpillar C13 engine. And this basically is a, if you see, this is a Eaton Easy Pedal Clutch, okay? And it's got the adjuster bolt right here. Um, the adjustments, basically what you want to do, if you can see that way up in there, there's the release bearing, there's the clutch brake. And I don't know if you can see the uh, way up in here, there's the release yoke right there. That, that right there, that's the teeth for the release yoke. Basically, that's what uh, pulls the clutch to engage it and uh, moves back to disengage the clutch. Basically, since this is a pull type clutch. Okay, so basically, what I'm going to be setting is I'm going to be setting a gap between the release, uh, or the release bearing and the clutch brake. As well as I'm going to be setting the gap between the release yoke and the release bearing. Okay, so I have my tool, 
right here and basically this is just a half inch size all right and down here this is an eighth inch size i want to use the half inch size between the clutch brake and the clutch or the release bearing okay so i want to stick my tool up in here similar to how a fuel gauge works okay just a slight tug not too tight not too loose okay just a little bit all right now at that point let's just say um it was too tight so basically what this would do is i have my wrench over here okay that was too tight so i want to loosen the bolt okay so at the same time unfortunately i do not have someone to help me but on a side note guys you want somebody to depress press on the clutch pedal before you adjust this bolt otherwise the clutch is engaged right now the bolt cannot be moved okay and i've already preset my adjustments okay the spec is you want half an inch between the clutch brake and the clutch or the, i keep on saying clutch brake or i mean clutch release bearing and clutch brake which is that gap right there now the gap between the release yoke and the release bearing okay that gap is going to be eighth an inch all right so i stick the other end of the tool right here this end okay and i stick it in between there that's a little too loose so guess what we need to go ahead and adjust it all right so i have a gap that's too tight right in between the release bearing and the clutch brake but i also have a gap that's too loose in between the release yoke and the release bearing okay so therefore i need to tighten that bolt okay now i got that bolt tightened all right all right so i stick my tool back up in here and now i feel similar to just how fuel gauge works okay just tug on it back and forth just a slight drag okay now i want to be setting uh my adjustments between the release bearing and the release yoke all right just a slight drag up in there okay all right now we know our adjustments are good all right now we know the clutch is adjusted all right so with that guys thank you for watching this video this is nick brown at jtech this is part two to my clutch adjustment video so with that guys we'll see you guys later